What is going on everybody and Pixel Enemy, Almost Evil 33 here, and today I have another Battlefield 4 gameplay commentary for you guys. Today I'm going to be playing some Rush on Golmud Railway, and I'm going to be running with the AK-5C, and I'll be jumping into a tank pretty soon so you guys will be able to see that, and I did as best as I could in there. And you will also be able to see in this video a few clips from a Siege of Shanghai Rush Attack gameplay that I had, and there are just a few good clips in there that I thought you guys would enjoy, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the gameplay. Now, I'm here to kind of talk about Battlefield 4 as it stands right now again, and I know that I've been doing a lot of commentaries on the state of Battlefield 4 in quotes, but I think this one I want to kind of keep things a little bit more positive. Everybody seems to have been downplaying and pushing the negative side of Battlefield 4 in a commentary like this, and I myself am guilty of the same thing. And I think the reason for that, like I've said before, is because we really do care about this game. We care about the products that EA and DICE put out. We really want them to be so good. And when we get let down, it's kind of tough to not be disappointed and to focus on a lot of negative aspects. But today I'd kind of like to turn around a little bit, do a 180, and kind of talk about some positive things that I've noticed about Battlefield 4. But not even just that, kind of talk about where they should go from here in terms of fixing the game, and just talk about how the Battlefield community might be able to treat Battlefield 4 a little bit differently from here on out as long as DICE kind of gets their shit together and starts to fix this game. So the first thing I figured I'd talk about just to kind of get some positive vibes going is what I do enjoy about Battlefield 4. And I think the best place for me personally to start is graphics. And I know that the graphics are phenomenal. They are excellent. Frostbite 3 is a great engine. And I've never seen a more beautiful first-person shooter game on PC in my entire life. And given that I'm playing on Xbox One, which is a next-gen console, that although the hardware has caught up a little bit to where the PC is, it's still a uh, notch down on the ladder from where the PC is at, of course. And I'm completely willing to admit that, obviously. But I still do think the game runs so well on my Xbox One. I love it. I've never experienced a first person shooter game before this one in 60 frames per second with these kinds of textures. It's just amazing, I, I, it's eye opening for me to say the least. But that's more of a, not just Battlefield 4 point, that's more of an Xbox One next generation console point. So I can not say though that I think the graphics in Battlefield 4 are phenomenal. And maybe you don't agree with me, maybe you think that they're not all that great or not all that different from Battlefield 3, but I think just removing that blue tint from the game was a step in the right direction to say the least. And I also love the customization in Battlefield 4, I really love how you can unlock guns, I don't mind the battle pack system at all, I really do like how everything's unlocked, and the replay value there, it takes forever to unlock all the attachments for every gun that you unlock, so I think that's really cool, personally. I think that does offer a lot of replay value because a lot of people have been complaining about how the leveling up system has a lot to be desired. You achieve max level too quickly, and I do agree with that. But I also think that the replay value lies in unlocking all the weapons and their attachments, and I think once these DLCs like Second Assault eventually do come to all the platforms, there's even more weapons to unlock and to get all the attachments for that I think offers extra replay value. And I think the maps are very good, and there's kind of some gray area there because I think that the way that the maps were designed is excellent. For example, Flood Zone. I love how Flood Zone offers the detail that is on the rooftops and then on the ground. It's two completely different areas of combat, and there's just certain things that were built into the game, the colors that are on the roof and, and the different ways that you can kind of navigate all the maps that I've picked up on. I think that's excellent, I think it's amazing. The changes that they made to Operation Metro I think are really cool. And personally, I'd argue that I really love what they did with the maps. With the exception of certain game modes, especially Rush, that are still plagued with those choke points that were present in Battlefield 3's Operation Metro, now they're present in Locker Room and a couple other maps. But as a whole, I really think the maps were well thought out and I think they were really, really well done, so I really appreciate that. And I love the combat system in Battlefield 4. I really feel like all the gunfights are fair, and a lot of people are going to argue with me on that point too, because they're going to say that, oh, I always feel like I get one-shotted and some other kinds of stuff. I still feel like it doesn't happen enough for me personally to just to complain about it. I really feel like most gunfights are totally fair. If I get outgunned, I get outgunned, and that's how I feel. Some people aren't going to agree with me, that's fine. 
disagreement sparks good debate sometimes, so I, that's what I want to see. But as a whole, I love the combat system in Battlefield 4. Now we can't pretend that the negatives don't exist. We have the bad netcode on PC, we have lagging, we have crashing, we have campaign data that won't save, but I do have faith that these will get corrected. I really, really do. But the first step of correcting them is having EA and DICE admit that they're problems in the first place. So that's what we need to see right now. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is just how it seems to have become cool and mainstream to hate on Battlefield 4, and that kind of irks me. I think people need to have their own opinions. Social media seems to have such a big role in what people think about Battlefield 4 because these YouTubers that are making videos that are kind of hating on it and they stop playing it, etc. I think they're kind of influencing people too much. I mean, have your own opinion. Don't just follow what other people say. I mean, I remember with Bad Company 2, the cool thing on YouTube and in social media was to hate on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And now it's the other way around. The cool thing to do is just hate on the game that you're supposed to be playing and enjoying. And you're not, you know, limited to just, oh, I'm a Battlefield player, so I need to think everything about the game is perfect. That's not right either. That's not right either. But you have your own opinion about the game. I see too many people following these YouTubers, and it just kind of irks me. So that's just me personally. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think the problems in Battlefield 4 will get fixed? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. That really helps out both me and Pixel Enemy. And other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. Come over to my channel and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. And I'll catch you all later. Peace!